Are we, is he trying to RC trick three? Inferno Towers? No. Klaus, you dirty dog. He's gonna do it. And here we go with Queen Walkers versus Invincibles 2.0 in the round of 16 of the Vedi Kuto, Vedi Ketu tournament. Don't know why that's so hard for me to say. But Gaku is coming in with the first attack of the match and little Queen Charge hybrid action against Samar's base. He's using the unicorn with the queen. She's gonna walk down, fight the enemy king here. Where's the headhunter? All right, he's got the headhunter. He's got the healers. Here we go. Queen should be walking down and into that scattershot compartment. Looks like that's the plan. He's gonna funnel the bottom side with a baby dragon. Nicely done. Queen should just directly or naturally walk in now. No need for any wall breakers so far. He does have three wall breakers in the bag that he can use. Queen's gonna go inside. She'll get the scatter shot. She'll get the wizard tower. Eventually she'll pull the clan castle troops. Nice Cocoloon finds two seeking air mines. Beautiful. She's gonna step up, get the builder huts, and we got a triple ice golem CC. Ooh, that timing's awkward because she's in range of the enemy queen, but she has to fight the ice golems first. Luckily, the queen is inside that poison. So she's not doing too, too much damage. We're gonna send in a little headhunter. Sneak in a headhunter right there with the rage spell. Can he take her out? No, he gets frozen by an ice golem and doesn't get any value, rip. Probably gonna see the hybrid come in from the top side to go target the town hall. We do have the king with the yak and the siege barracks to deploy here. We drop the siege barracks first. Still holding on to that king. Gonna be very patient here with the king deployment. Okay, okay, there he goes. King and the Yak on the left side support. Skeleton Trap on the top side. The Wall Breaker does go all the way to the core. Wow, that was a beautiful Wall Break. Queen has access to so much of this base now. We find the Tornado Trap on the top side. Pop that Warden ability as the Town Hall wakes up. King and Yak and Siege Barracks troops on the left side. We're gonna use a Wall Breaker to give him access to the multi. Okay, there goes the first heal. Queen gets the... Inferno Tower and the Expo in the core there. She can reach the air defense. We even have back end loons for the Archer Tower that she skipped. Oh, this is just beautiful from Gaku, dude. Absolutely flawlessly executed Queen Charge Hybrid Attack from Gaku. And look at this. He can probably swag the rest of these spells. I think he can swag a heal and one, two, three freezes? Dude, this guy is nuts. He doesn't even need the Royal Champ ability either. That was an absolutely amazing queen charge hybrid and he swags all four of those spells five spell space on the clan castle and with 30 seconds to spare gaku starting off with a banger absolutely demolished samara's base and let's see what invincibles 2.0 can do with their first attack khan is in with the first attack for invincibles 2.0 bringing us some inferno baby dragon action here we go with all the skeleton spells and the freezes, he does have two rages even. Looks like he's going for the early Town Hall blimp, if I'm not mistaken. He uses balloons and a baby dragon to make a little bit of a funnel, but he's not dropping the blimp. Okay, I could be wrong. Inferno babies from 11 o'clock, all of them, with the early blimp and the early warden ability. All right, all right, all right. That's exactly what he's doing. King and queen on the right side. Nice. The blimp is going to make it to the town hall, and he does have yetis in there. It's going to pull CC troops. Looks like we've got two headhunters and probably a lava dog in there. Lava dog is not has not been pulled yet, and the yetis die, so it won't get pulled. It's beautiful. Freeze and rage going into the core, dropping skeleton spells to distract. Needs to drop a few more. Uh, this is looking a little sketchy. King and queen on the right side. The king gets way out in front, misses the enemy king, so our queen has to pop her ability just to get through the enemy king. He almost missed that ability. Should have popped it earlier to save her HP. Now she's at 1 HP and she's going to end up dying to like a small bomb or something silly. We use our poison in the core for the enemy queen. Get through all the inferno towers. We still have the road champion to deploy and we still got the king ability. So he could get this. We're going to use the road champion over here on the right side where the queen's going to leave off. Oh, she might stay alive. Down goes the bomb tower. Warden is staying alive. That's beautiful. Skeleton trap right there to help distract the scatter, the Tesla, and the cannon with one freeze. The king ability and the RC ability. Can he get through all of it? Going to be a little close. The queen is hanging on to dear life by a thread. She has no HP. Warden is trying to assist. It only takes one seeking air mine, though, to send him to the shadow realm. Hopefully he doesn't get hit by that. A minute 24. Time is not an issue here. With the RC ability and the freeze. He really has to save the freeze for that single target in front of tower or else he's screwed. 
RC gets through the cannon. She's gonna get through the expo with the help of the warden. Even if he dies to the air defense, I think he's gonna get it. King pops the tornado trap. We use the RC ability. Boom, boom, boom. A free spell for the Inferno Tower, and we don't actually even need it. Swags the free spell on the clan castle, and it's a three star for Khan and Invincibles 2.0. Just like that, they're keeping up. Three stars apiece, and the pressure right back on the Queen Walker's shoulder. And here we are, Stadra is in with the second attack for Queen Walker's, bringing us Queen Charge Hybrid. Ooh. Normally, we see Stadra coming in with some sort of Super Witch attack or a Pee Wee Wee attack, but he's bringing us a good old fashioned hybrid today. I like it. Let's see how he can do it. Using the Unicorn with the Queen, going straight into a reachable multi. What in the base building is this? Hello? Sir? Okay. They want to give up their multis, I guess. Coco Loon from 6 o'clock. Still have yet to drop the healer. She's being very patient. There goes the healer deployment on the outside. Nice free multi and targeting Inferno Tower right there. Queen goes inside, gets the Builder Hut. Uh, he didn't even bring any wall breakers to this attack because he doesn't really need them. He wants the queen to walk left here. Got a rage. Probably use a headhunter as well. Boom. Yep, he does. Nicely done right there from Stadra. She should stay alive. The unicorn might die to some splash damage. Boom. The unicorn died to a mortar. Rip. That poor little pony. She's going to continue walking left here. Hopefully go back inside for the scatter. Hopefully the scatter doesn't switch targets to his healers. That would not be cash money. He starts the hybrid from 9 o'clock directly into the town hall. King and siege barracks on the outside to funnel. Queen is still tanking the scatter. If it switches targets to his healers, that would be bad news bears. But it, she's just barely still in range. That is perfect. Perfect placement. If he had one more wall piece there, the scatter shot probably would have switched targets. And this would be bad for Stadra. But now the scatter shot goes down to balloons. We may get through the town hall with the warden ability. Hybrid going to start making their way to the core where we can start deploying our heal spells. Queen's going to get rid of the storage. Continue walking right. And I think she can reach the other multi too. Hello, sir? What is this base, dude? You got the double wall segment, but Queen can reach over both of them. Oh, no. We need to work on our base building over here in Invincibles 2.0. We rage and we freeze the hybrid because Queen doesn't need the extra free. I mean, the extra rage. And, dude, this is crushed. He's going to swag a heal again, just like, uh, just like Gaku did. Nope, he's going to use the heal on the top side. Probably didn't need it. RC at full health with ability and a freeze in the bag. This is absolutely demolished. Another Queen Charge Hybrid Triple coming from Queen Walkers today. Very interesting base building here on this one from Villa. Not going to say I like this base. I don't think it worked out too well. But he's going to end up using the free spell anyway. Pops both the abilities. Trying to get the three star as fast as possible. In case this ends up being a perfect tie. They need the fast attacks. And it's a beautiful clan class triple from Stadra. And Queen Walkers are now two for two. Samar with the second attack for Invincibles 2.0. They gotta keep three star and if they want to keep up in Klaus. <laughs> oh, he's using the toxic legend style ring base. You gotta love it. <clears throat> and let's see if it works for him. Looks like Samar is bringing us a Blizzard Lalo on Klaus's ring base. And how is he gonna do it today? We use the Hound from two o'clock. The blimp behind. Looks like we want it to land on the scatter shot, he freezes the air sweeper. Hello, Tesla farm. Headhunter's coming out of the CC. The blimp pops. Invisibility's down. One giant bomb's there. Ooh, these super wizards could die. Tornado trap activates. Ooh, they're gonna die to the gigabomb. He makes the town hall invisible, sir. What are you doing? He's only got one wizard left. It needs to do a 180. Shoot the town hall. Oh, he does. He turns around. One more shot. Yes, the town hall drops. Oh. My heart, he almost messed that up. But he gets the town hall and both scatter shots. All right. Wall breaker from the south side. Ice golem is in. King with the yak. Queen with the unicorn. One headhunter survives, but we will kill that very quickly. And let's see how much value he can get here with the king and the queen. Wizards to try and funnel a little bit on the right side. You use the poison spell for the heroes because we already killed all the clan castle troops. There's probably a lava hound in there, but luckily the wizards killed the CC before the hound came out. That was perfect. Royal champion with the lassie on the right side to try and help out. Queen could reach the multi if she paths up there, but the RC might get it with her ability as well. And I think he's going to cut the funnel here for the Lalo. This is looking pretty good. 
Queen's gonna walk around the right side. We need the RC to take out the multi. Ooh, she doesn't. She passed to the right, which is actually pretty awkward. Does he start the Lalo onto that multi? Where would you guys start the Lalo here? I think I would want to get rid of the Eagle and the Multis as quickly as possible. That's exactly what he's going to do. Oh, but he drops the Hound to the wrong direction. Brother, what are you doing? Oh, that's a Swag Hound. Rip. Need to haste these loons as well. He's going to freeze. Misses the Eagle. Loons are very low on HP. Can they even take out that Multi? They need to get one more shot off. Oh, they don't. The Multi stays up. Oh, dude, he's throwing. He's throwing this Lalo. Haste and another freeze on the top side. Misses the eagle again. Sir. Oh, the eagle's going to stay up with the multi. Oh my gosh. Dude, this should have been so wrecked after that opener. And he threw the Lalo. The multi and the eagle stays up. No. Klaus with the god base today. Oh my goodness gracious. Sends another loon to the eagle. It stays up. Klaus. I mean, the tornado trap was kind of perfect. I think the invisibility spell on the town hall was actually a good call because it forced the wizards back out of the range of the giga bomb and then he was able to get the town hall but still oh misses the inferno tower at the beginning of the lalo and that costed him big time not going to be able to three star klaus's base today and it's a defense for queen walkers with the op god base from klaus 88 percent on this one and stars is in with the next attack for Queen Walkers. What is he bringing us? Looks like a Blizzard Lalo, I think. He's got a Rage and four Invisibilities. Let's see how he's going to do it here on Rishu's base. Takes the full 30 seconds to think about what he wants to do. Balloon on the Mortar. Hound from 730. Blimp finds a Seeking Air Mine. Oh, the freeze is late. Oh, Stars definitely wanted that Blimp to get all the way to the core. Uh-oh. Has to adjust on the fly here. Use the invisibility spells on the bottom. He's not going to get the scatter shot. He could still kill some of these CC troops. No, they wrap around. He makes them invisible. Ooh, can they get the eagle? I think they will. They're just barely inside that invisibility. Down goes the eagle. The scatter in the core stays up. The royal champion stays up. Uh-oh. This is not how he intended it to go. Kind of swags a free spell because of that as well. Drops the queen with the yak. And queen's on the lava dog. How far out in front does that yak get? When the queen is stuck on the lava dog. The yak cannot see the lava hound. Poison spell to help the queen. An archer to assist with the pups. Yak goes back around the other way. Okay. Baby dragon to funnel. Hello outside seeking air mine. <laughs> OP traps from Rishu. King finds a Tesla farm. Another baby dragon to help funnel him. Queen's not going to be able to get the scatter. Ooh, unless the RC tanks. The RC might get the scatter. King goes inside. We definitely want to kill the enemy queen here with this Sui. We pop our queen ability. She's going to go help the royal champion. Is there any way he can force that royal champion to the core? Nope. She's going to walk up for the multi. So now the Lalo path thing is kind of awkward. We don't have an L shape. Instead, we have kind of like a box shape with these four compartments on the top side. So let's see how Stars is going to do this. He needs an OP Lalo to make this work. He does have a lot of spells for the Lalo. Three haste and three freezes. With only half a base left. He could still make this work. Pops out RC ability. She gets the sweeper in the core, which is phenomenal. We freeze the town hall. RC gets the expo, which is actually helping the pathing a little bit here. Pop the warden ability. Haste through the town hall. Down it goes. Bro, he's still going to get this. Oh my gosh. Why would you ever doubt stars? He's going to get this with like a swag spell still, I bet. There goes the next freeze in the core. Haste as well to get him in there. Another freeze. And we got an unpopped hound and a haste spell. And there's no more defenses on the board. Wow. Even when his blimps don't get the value he wants, this man still is like, dude, I'll just swag one spell instead of three, all right? It's no big deal. <laughs> this man is a legend. Down goes the DE storage on the top side. Down goes the enemy king. Best air defense in the game. Not going to stall him up for long enough. Haste spell into the storage. And it's clan clash tripled. Stars. With another three-star attack on the board. And Queen Walkers are now three for three. Achilles is in with the next attack for Invincibles 2.0. Coming in with little E-Dragon spam. Here we go. Could be the fastest triple we've ever seen. Or it could fall flat on its face. Against Dodger's OP anti-two-star base here. And let's see what he can do. E-Dragon's from the southeast side. Warden on air to support. 
early as heck warden ability with the stone slammer double rage we love to see it king and queen from three o'clock to walk up towards 12 let's go down go all three inferno towers we're gonna freeze up the enemy queen we're gonna rage spell again going into the town hall we find the tornado trap freeze the top side scatter freeze the enemy queen again town hall has yet to wake up we're gonna rage one e dragon into the town hall so we gotta freeze there's only one and he's low another two go there now king and queen on the top side are getting immense value e dragons take out the core beautiful we poison spell for the king okay okay we still have the royal champion i think this is wrecked king and queen still alive with abilities royal champion to help assist them this is wrecked right unless i'm crazy three e dragons alive on the bottom side Warden, all four heroes on the top side still alive. We're going to pop that queen ability. Down goes the enemy king. We still got RC and ability and a free spell. This is going to be a fast clan class triple right here for Akilesh. E-Dragons on the left are still alive. Can pop that RC ability to get rid of these defenses even faster if he wants to. Or he's going to swag it. Has the free spell to swag as well. And a beautiful E-Dragon attack right there. Only like a minute and 20 attack. Beautifully done and another three star on the board for Invincibles 2.0. They're still keeping up. Their only fail was an 88%. Don't forget to use code Lexnos in the in-game shop if you want to help support this channel. Thank you so much if you do. And Klaus is in with the next attack for Queen Walkers. And he's bringing us some Lalo today. We got two lightnings and an earthquake, two invisibility spells as well. Starts with the Barbarian King on the top side of the base. Wall breaks him in to the eagle artillery compartment queen on the outside to finish off the funnel for the king we got the yak with the queen the unicorn with the king the king will easily take out the eagle here he might even take out the royal champion with his ability now it looks like we want the queen to go inside here because he did funnel with the sneaky goblin two lightning spells for the builder hut and it damages the multi and the core as well are we is he trying to rc trick three inferno towers no Klaus, you dirty dog. He's going to do it. Oh, he's going to do it. Down goes the first Inferno Tower. Does he have to make this mortar invisible? Oh, one shot. Two shot. Boom, 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 boom. With the quake. Down go all three multis. Klaus just RC tricked three Inferno Towers on one base. Holy crap. Archer at 3 o'clock. Pulls the Lava Hound. The Baby Dragon will be able to kill that. We got a Poison Spill. And he starts the Lalo with a Stone Slammer from 430. Oh my gosh. Poison Spell for the Lava Pups. Baby Dragon can take that out. Warden on air with the Owl to support the Lalo, of course. Going to use some Headhunters and the Warden ability soon. The Town Hall is not awake. Now it's awake right as we get there. Perfect timing. Three Headhunters are in. Pops the Warden ability. Two Lava Hounds are getting way out in front. There goes the third Lava Hound. Tesla Farm at 9 o'clock. Headhunters in the Warden ability. Kill the enemy queen. Freeze the first scatter. We do still have to get through two scatter shots on this Lalo. But he has so many spells. This was like an old school Sui Lalo. He has so many spells for the Lalo. He has a rage. A freeze. Another invisibility spell that he's going to swag. Two haste spells that he doesn't need because all the defenses are dead. Bro. Klaus. Oh my gosh he just absolutely ripped this base a new one 50 seconds for cleanup one two three four i count at least 69 and two-thirds loons still alive on this attack one two three swag spells a beautiful clan clash triple from klaus showing you guys why he is considered one of the best players in the world does a little mickey mouse swag right over the clan castle amazing attack an amazing plan with the royal champion getting all three inferno towers on this base and queen walkers are just doing phenomenal they are now four for four here we go with the next attack for Invincibles 2.0. They have to three star if they want to stay in this match. And can they do it with the dragon attack versus Yuta 14's base? We got balloons and a baby dragon to help funnel at two o'clock. But we find a Tesla. Does that ruin things a little bit? Did he want the Archer Tower? I'm not sure. Another dragon up at one o'clock. We find a second Tesla. King with the yak from 12. Queen in behind. Okay. Dragons coming in from the top right side of the base. We find a third Tesla, fourth Tesla, fifth Tesla. 
Warden on air to support with the Owl, of course. Probably going to see the Blunt for the Town Hall right there. Pop the Warden ability super duper early. Rage Spell going in toward the base. Hopefully the Blunt makes it all the way to that Town Hall. The Sweeper is being very pesky. The Funnel on the right side is not really there. So a lot of these Dragons are about to peel out. There goes the Rage over the Town Hall. Town Hall activates. Yetis and Yeti Mites destroy that. Builder Huts are still alive. Two Headhunters coming out of the CC. Gotta watch out for your Warden. He's gonna get clapped in the face. Oh, good night, Warden, dude. Unless the Owl kills him. Ooh, the Owl's actually OP. One shot, two shots, three shots. Owl kills them, but the Warden dies still. Down goes the Eagle on the top side, and ooh, we got Bats. We still got Bats. Uh, he's gonna freeze the Scatter and the Wizard Tower. Gonna have to freeze it again. There he goes. Nicely timed. But the Multi on the back end of the base. Gotta start freezing that up. Wizard Tower gets one shot. We got uh, no more freezes for the Multi. Can it go down? No. He makes the dragon invisible? What? Bro, you should have saved that invisibility spell for your RC. What the heck was that? Pop the queen ability. Take out the enemy RC. Our RC needed that invisibility spell to stay alive here, or can she still stay alive? Queen gets the warden tower. Ice golem freezes and pops. Dude, imagine if he had that invisibility spell for his royal champion. This would have been a three star. Why did he use it on one dragon? while it was fighting the clan castle building. I don't know, but I think that was a mistake. This should have been a triple, but instead it's gonna be another defense for Yuta 14. It's gonna be a 94, 95% attack. He's got a minute on the board for this minion to take out the clan castle. Might just fast forward through this. Nice headhunter finds all the traps in the middle of the base. <laughs> And time runs out, and he gets 94%. The minion didn't even finish the clan castle in time. Wow. Nice try to Invincibles 2.0 on this attack, but Yuta 14's base holds strong. Yuta 14 is in with the last attack for Queen Walkers, and can they get the perfect war today? Yuta 14 bringing us the Queen Charge Lalo. Oh, baby. And we start with the Queen at 9 o'clock. Yeti to funnel over here at 7. Where does he want to wall break her in? He's not doing any funneling at 8. We already pulled two headhunters out of the CC. He's not dropping the healers. Drops a freeze. She's low on HP. Where are your healers, sir? There we go. Jeez. Rage spell in as well. Looks like he wants her to walk down based on the healer drop, and she does. Wall break right there to give Queen access to both scatter shots. Ooh, I like that pathing. He finds the Tesla farm as well, so already going to get rid of the Tesla farm, and he might get rid of both scatters if she paths perfectly here, and I think she will. It gets rid of the Skelly Trap. Down goes the first scatter. Our poor Unicorn is taking a lot of splash damage from that second scatter. We find the Tornado Trap. Queen and the Unicorn are doing the Disco Dance together. Oh, baby. Here come the rest of the CC troops. Oh, that's a toxic CC, my guy. Has to invest another poison. I mean, another poison. Another freeze and the poison. Next wall breakers in and the third one to go target the builder hut, which is actually going to give him access to the multi in the core, which is beautiful with the queen ability. Can she kill the enemy queen? I'm not sure if she will aggro her. We use the road champion with the lassie up at 10 o'clock. We wall break the king to take out the town hall invisibility spell so we can kill the royal champion, kill the king and she's beaten on a wall. Oh, you might have to freeze. You might have to freeze. You might have to freeze you to freeze. That was close. She kills the enemy king. She kills the enemy queen. She gets the first sweeper. King is the town hall. Royal champion funnel the top side, and we lolo from 12 o'clock. This is looking pretty decent. Queen beats through a wall. She's even going to get the second sweeper and gut out a little bit more of the core. After we get through that eagle, really all we got to get through is two inferno towers. And this is GG, my guy. He still has plenty of time on the clock. He still has a stone slammer in the bag that he hasn't even used yet. Queen gets the Builder Hut. She steps in range of the single, and she's actually gonna die. Oh, she gets out of range just in time, but she still dies. Way too much damage there. She was low on HP. We still have the Warden ability. Pop it right there as the loons fly into that multi and into the Wizard Tower. Dude, this is clashed. This is absolutely demolished. He could swag the last rage if he wanted to. The Stone Slammer's not even gonna pop. Oh my gosh, Queen Walkers are on fire today. He uses the rage right there anyway, just to help speed up the attack a little bit. GG's to Yuta14 and Queen Walkers with the amazing 15 star performance in today's match against Invincibles 2.0. GG's to them. And they're gonna be moving on to the next round of the Vetti 
Keto, Ketu tournament here today. But let's go ahead and check out the last attack from Invincibles 2.0. Rishu is in with the last attack of the match and what is he bringing for us on stars base coming in with a little queen charge hybrid action oh baby he's got 15 miners eight hogs yak with the king owl with the warden and lassie with the royal champion let's see how he's gonna do this queen from 12 o'clock all right looks like he wants her to walk to the left there's a multi there and the eagle where's he gonna wall break Wall break directly into that eagle artillery compartment. Okay. Healers with the queen. She should just naturally walk inside, even if we don't funnel. Need a headhunter for the king. There we go. Beautifully done. So she can kill the king and then continue making her way into the eagle compartment. Now, there is going to be a heck of a lot of damage on this queen once she starts getting in range of these expos and the warden tower. That's going to be no joke. We might have to invest a freeze. He definitely needs a freeze, sir. Oh, she low, low. Oh, okay. We go with the invisibility instead. She can finish off the eagle, teehee. Drop the next raid. She gets the warden tower down. Oh, she switches too early. She switches too early? Oh, yikes. Down goes the warden tower. Now she needs to step up for the expos. We freeze, but it's too late. Queen ability goes off. We find a second skeleton trap. She gets the next expo. Which way does she go now? Does she go left? Then does she go right or left again? She goes right. Ooh. Oh, finds a tornado trap. This could be bad news bears. That's already our last rage spell, guys. And it, and he doesn't have the queen ability. We start the Lalo from nine. I mean the Lalo, the hybrid from nine o'clock, and the town hall's way over here. Ooh, this is ballsy play from Rishu. Although the war is basically already over, so it really doesn't matter. Queen wraps around the left side. She's trying to get the scatter, but she was gonna die if only we had her ability. Scatter shot stays up. Now the scatter shot drops. Royal Champion is going to get stuck on the Lava Hound. There's a bowler in the CC. What? Stars, why do you have a bowler in your CC? <laughs> the hybrid got completely wiped by something. Where are his miners? Dude, this is a one star. What the heck? Pops the Warden ability. Royal Champion with the healers are still alive. He lost every single miner somehow. Heals the hogs on the bottom. Got a freeze there as well. Can we get the Town Hall? Royal Champion is going to clear the core, but we need this Town Hall. The hogs go up for the sweeper. Oh, no. Stars with the one star defense. Ladies and gentle fish. Queen walkers are just too OP. Rishu not going to be able to get it done here against Stars' base. And we're looking at roughly an 80% one star on this attack. There's 75%. King still walking up. We got a couple of cleanup troops up there. Nothing to get that town hall. Sends a minion straight to his death into the core of the base. Boom, he dies. And 79. Can we get that magical number 80 like I predicted? Is the wizard in range of the archer tower? He might be, which means we're looking at a 79% one star to end the match here for Rishu. Nice try, but not going to be able to get it done. The war is over, and it is a 15 star to 11 star victory for Queen Walkers today. GG's in this match.